The skills boot camps are a national and local program of skills training uh, to support, I suppose, new industries like digital, uh, green energy and creative industries. They're there to train people whether they're unemployed or already employed in the new skills that they can use in perhaps to get a new job, to get a promotion. It's something that we're really excited about because there's a lot of new industries where there's a skills shortage, where there's lots of vacancies and by helping train individuals that's going to help our local employers and help our local economy. So this initiative with Acona, which is training people in how to put uh, overhead line equipment onto railways has been a real success. It's, a, it's one we're particularly proud of. In our region, in Cheshire and Warrington, we know we've got HS2 coming to crew and then obviously a wider rail network which could potentially be electrified. We really want to take advantage of that and we want local people to benefit from those economic investments in our area. What we've noticed already is Acona has got a tremendous ability to find people to come and join that training and they're working really closely with the employers who will give those people interviews and jobs in the future. The course we're doing at present is a boot camp where we get everybody in and we train them to go through the course and we sort of like start from basics and then we work right the way through it again. We like to get guys from the very bottom to the very top through these boot camps and this training system because you're still going to get the guys that are management status stuff who want to learn it all so that they can become good managers and train themselves or coax their lads along. Or you can start from the very bottom. They need the lads to better themselves and this is a good way of doing it. And at the end of the day, there is good jobs on the railway and there is good jobs going through these systems. I was working in wealth management up until lockdown and the pandemic. Because of a few changes, I decided to, to move into construction. Um, from there, I was contracting. I moved into a permanent role, but unfortunately, I was made redundant. Upon looking for more work, I realised that maybe I didn't have the qualifications that was required to get good enough jobs and pursue a career. And the facilities that Acona have got are brilliant. All of the tutors that we've had, they've all got experience in the railway, so it's given us the best sort of possible start that we can have. So the first day we covered the, the OLEC 1, which is a, a basic ticket to get on the rail, and the PTS, personal track safety. So you've got to do them before you can actually step foot on the rail and then moving on to working on high first aid and now on to the OLEC 2 which is installing the overheads. With us being on the electrification side of it, it is obviously a lot dangerous than any other industry really. So it's a good insight for us to, to do the course and it's important we take note and um, progress from there. We've learnt loads this week, like it's obviously crammed into like a two week period so we obviously know that we learn a lot in here but we learn most on track. The course has been good and we've met some nice lads in there as well, like we've all got on all week. There's been a lot of information to take in but the way they've done it we're all understanding. From the LEPS point of view we're really pleased with the way that skills boot camps have developed. It is the first year that we've been involved, it's an opportunity for us to work with local employers We've seen really good recruitment into the training programmes and we're expecting to get more money next year. So we want to continue with that relationship, continue those strong partnerships.